Susan in the side. Here now is the start of the Australian second innings. There's no to stack ball. And that's it, he's out. Another catch at first slip. Peter Puff is on it again. Stack ball gone. A wicket for Snow. The first Australian wicket going down at 15. Getting one that moved away a little bit from him. Luck has taken a good, smart slip catch. Bowling, on, putting it on outside, from outside the off stump. Or pitching outside off stump. And it comes back inside, on the inside edge, and hits leg stump. That's Gifford under it. He's out. Wheeler's caught up a rank long hop, trying to smash it away on the offside. Just getting a top edge and the ball flying up in the air. Let's see here how this one landed well outside off stump. Walters slashing away. And there's Gifford going back for it now. He puts his hand up to try and judge and keep the ball out of the sun. Takes it quite comfortably in the end. That was a real sacrifice by Doug Walters, but it allowed Ian Chappell to close the innings at four for 324, leaving England nine and a half hours to get 451. It wasn't an impossible target, but the way they'd batted in the first innings must have given the Australians a great deal of hope. John Snow toiled hard once again, 24 overs, one maiden, three for 94.